This webinar is brought to you by S2 Academy for Research and Development. And we have two subject matter experts from the University of Birmingham and University of Manchester. We have Chris, Dr. Chris Oko and engineer Uduak, who will be taking us through the top tips to Flinch Chevening Scholarship. So they are going to tell us about their story and things you need to learn in your journey to applying for Chevening. In no time, I'm going to call them up. But before we go ahead, we are expected to keep our audio muted. If you have a question, please go to the chat box and ask your question there. At the end of the presentation, there will be entertaining questions. So any kind of question you have while they talk, please prepare them, send them to the chat, we'll read them for you. And I'm sure that they will be able to give you satisfactory answers. So here we go. We bring in the subject matter experts to take over the floor. Thank you, Chris and Uduak. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, um, Dr. Kalu. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, based on where you're joining from. Um, my name is Udwa Kapmanedet, and with me here, I have my colleague and my friend, Dr. K um, Dr. Christian Oliver from University of Birmingham. Yeah. Dr. Christian, say hi to the people. Hello, everybody. Hello, you're welcome. Okay, um, I myself am an MSc student as well um, from the University thank of Thank you. Man yeah, so um, I'm doing my MSc here in the University of Manchester, um, um, sponsored by prestigious um, Germany Scholar. So um, today, so happy to welcome you to today's um, meeting, which um, we tag, um, come, blitz your wall. Come, blitz your wall. Uh, we're gonna, okay, so we're going to look at um, the introduction, what Chevening is about, and we also look at the what Chevening needs and Chevening needs leaders. And we also look at um, why you should apply for Chevening. Why Chevening? So we look at it and we also look at the requirements um, in applying for Chevening application. What are the requirements that you need? Also, we look at how to apply because you have to apply. We're also going to look at something very important that's the essay, the core of the, the beginning of the application, which you have to write your leadership, um, networking, career, and first essay. Also gonna put you through um, the interview because if you scale through um, the process, the first stage, which is the application process, you're gonna um, be invited for interview. So we look at that and we look at the time because it's timing, you have to know the important when to do the application, the interview, and so at the end, we're going to share our journey stories. We're going to look at our journey um, so far. So at this point, I will hand over to my colleague, Dr. Christian, to put us through the introduction. Okay, thank you very much, Udwak. Thank you. So I'm here to tell you what Chevening is all about. And it's good to know that Chevening Scholarship is a prestigious UK government international scholarship. It was set up about uh, 37 years ago for the development of leaders, leaders who will rise to proper solutions to the problems of their communities, their countries, and the world at large. Now, it's important to know that Chevening grants everyone, irrespective of your age, um, irrespective of your ethnicity, irrespective of your social economic background, it grants you a golden opportunity to get a fully funded master's degree program in the best UK universities. I mean, the best course, the best UK universities of your choice, where you, you, you're going to study, or are going to network with other um, international students all over the world as ambassadors of your country and also as ambassador of the UK government. So since 1983, Chevron has produced over 50,000 professionals. You know, these professionals have benefited from Chevron and they're set as global leaders all over the world. 
For example, the president of Costa Rica, um, Carlos Alvarado, he's a Chevney scholar, you remember, right? Yeah. And your mom or two, the um, Nigerian Chevney's, um, the World Child Nigerians um, Channels TV. He's also a proud alumni of Chevney. So Chevney have very good product. 17 head of government in the whole world are Chevney scholars. Okay, they were Chevney scholars. So Chevney is funded by the Foreign and Commonwealth Office with partner, other partners, and selection of um, scholars are done by the British High Commission, different countries. So we go for interviews, those in Nigeria go to Lagos and Abuja, those in other countries, you go, you go to the British High Commission for interviews. And uh, last year, I mean, out of about 35,000 applications all over the world, only 8,750 scholars were chosen across 141 countries. And Nigeria obviously had the highest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we had about 3.5% of, of all the countries. Okay, so it's so it's important to know that Chevney is for leaders. Chevney needs leaders. Chevney is for leaders. Chevney is for leaders who have, in their different fields, inspired people and influenced people, influenced others to work towards positive impact in their local, in your national, in your international communities. Now, this means that no matter where you are from, no matter what you do, no matter what the profession you, you, you work in, he said, so far, you led others into making lives better. So far, you have the vision to do um, um, greater works in your career. Then, then Chevney wants you. And Chevney wants to make you a more impactful leader. Also, it's important to know that Chevney needs those who have volunteered. They need volunteers who have volunteered, those who have connected, those who have engaged different organizations, different personalities, engage these people in creating positive changes in society. Chevron is only for visionaries. Visionaries are sought after who have clear and achievable post-study plan, post-study career plan to enhance their leadership impact. Also, Chevron is interested in grooming, um, in grooming scholars, scholars that will be future global leaders, future influencers, and future decision makers who will take charge and create changes, positive changes all over the world. That's what we are. And that's why Chevney meets you. So Uba could tell us more about um, why most you for Chevney, why Chevney, why you should apply for Chevney. Okay. But these are some of the pictures we took on the um, Chevney Orientation Day, which held in, uh, in October in Excel um, um, Center in London. Yeah. So the first picture, you see the lady, she's a program officer in Chevney. She was addressing um, everybody. So 1,750 scholars from 141 countries gathered here and we had good networking. So she addressed us. Beside it, you can see four beautiful and uh, different African dresses. I and Udrak took this picture with these ladies from different African countries. And it's a very good picture. This picture is in the Chevney website. It shows um, international, like African unity there. Below the picture by the right, you see um, the Nigerian scholars. And you ask last to this picture with um, scholars from Georgia. You can see their flag with the Red Cross. Scholars from Georgia. And uh, we had very good international networking. And besides, you see a whole lot of uh, scholars from every part of the world gathered together in one place. Everyone flying their flags. Everyone uh, having good networking, good interactions, just to create a better world. And that's Chevney for you. So Uda will tell us more about why should you apply for Chevney Scholarship? Why will you apply this time? Uh, thank you very much, um, Dr. Christian. Okay, so why should you apply for Chevney? It's very important. That's a common question, um, not just because you want to get your MSc. So Chevney is interested in you, is interested in your community. Chevney is interested in your country development. That's because um, they're about community development. They're about adding, giving back to the society. It's about, so that's the essence of this, um, picking out um, to pick and groom the world leaders to go back and um, add to the community. So Chevney is interested in you because you have the passion, we have your community and your country at heart to go back and add 
to the development. So Chavni also give you the opportunity to do a one year MSc program in the best of UK universities. And you also have a choice of choosing your course. So you go to know that, okay, because um, I, I, I want to do this or I was not given this opportunity. I choose University of Manchester because it's one of the best um, universities in the UK. And my course happens to be only in the University of Manchester in the whole UK. So it gives you that opportunity to choose um, one of the UK best universities to study. And Chelney, um, they covered every they covered your um your visa your flights your tuition fee your monthly stipends and your allowance so um that's very important i'm sure it also offers the uh, the chance to network with the world leaders the global leaders and all um professional leaders all over the world so that's the opportunity you get as a children's scholar and um another thing is that it exposes you to the um UK, the rich UK culture. UK is known for other limits. They are known for um, a whole lot of things. So when you, it gives you get rich UK culture. So which children expose you. Once you're here in the UK, I mean you're being recognized as the world, um, the world ambassador and both in your com country yeah. and in the UK. So it exposes you to all the UK culture, which is very rich. And if you look at it, um, it gives you a, a good lasting positive um, relationship with the UK government. I mean, from your school, from the university that you secured admission, they recognize it as a world ambassador. So, I mean, you're international, they call it um, your, your government picking. So the, there's a that good relationship between your country and the UK through you as a Chevrolet scholar. And lastly, on why you should apply, why Chevney is because after your studies, after your studies, you're going to join a rich international network of Chevney alumni. So because in each of the country and all over the world, they have a community, they have a network for um, Chevney, for Chevney alumni after your, um, your scholarship. Also, um, here in the picture where we have um, Chevney, so 73 um, Chevney Scholar joined the University of Birmingham. That's um, Dr. Christian yeah, school. school. So there um, you can see exciting um, scholars rejoicing. That was when they arrived in the UK. And um, so there are lots of things and joyfully as a Chevening Scholar. And by the right, you can see welcome to Old Trafford. I have friends who volunteered in Old Trafford. That's Manchester United. So there are lots of opportunity for being a Chevening Scholar. So down there, you also see um, a group of Chevening Scholars volunteer. That was a tree planting um, in um, London. So there are lots of opportunities that's to add, give back to the community, both the international and um, your local community. And by the right, you could see um, a young lady there by the cement. That cement company is a German company. And it's so lovely to know that cement are, um, it's, it's, it's an engineering firm where I am doing my research. That's a Germany company, a German company, which they deal. So I went there for my research, my dissertation. So there are lots of opportunity. And I'm sure with this, you wouldn't want to miss um, applying for Germany. So Christian, Dr. Christian is going to tell us the requirements. So we are getting, that was just like an introduction. So he's going to tell us what it's required to apply for. Um, Chevney. Okay, thank you very much. I believe at this time most of us are excited to really know why wow, I really want to apply for this. How do I get? I get to it. Okay, so what is required for Chevney scholarship? First, must be a citizen of a Chevney eligible country. Okay. Uh, secondly, a bachelor's degree graduate, or bachelor's degree graduate, a two one, which or what is equivalent to the UK two one, so you can gain. UK master's admission as at a submission of your application. Okay. Um, also, before July next year, you must have gotten an unconditional admission offer from a, from a UK university, uh, at least one UK university before July next year. It's also important that you have at least two years working experience 
Um, it's also expected that after your study, you return to your country for two years to impact and, and the impact what you learned from your study for at least two years. Okay, there's also the IELTS English exam, which you must pass, either IELTS or some other international English exam. For IELTS, the uh, score is at least 6.5. We must pass this exam before July next year. Okay, there's also the uh, importance of reference letter. Now, when you're long listed in February, you'll be required to present um, a reference, at least two reference letters. One must be academic and the other probably from your uh, organization where you work, uh, okay? And there's also, you also meet your academic transcripts. Academic transcripts. So these are important uh, for application, okay? So Uda can tell us how do we apply? How do we get on to apply? Um, all right, thank you. So now how do you apply for um, Chelmney Scholarship? It's very important that you have to start on time because we have um, time like it's going to come up in um, October, sorry, in August to November. So you have, first of all, have to start on time because there are lots of things you have to do about it. You have to do a lot of work on it. Um, Chelmney Scholarship application is not just application you click and then apply and submit. No, there are lots of things you have to do about it. So first you have to start on time and you have to take it serious. You don't have to rush over it. Like I said, you don't have to rush over it. You, you need to take time and you have to think carefully about your past, your present impact, as well as your future plan because um, Chelmney Scholarship is about um, grooming world leaders so who will go back to their country and add value and develop their countries, their communities. So you have to think about your past, your present impact, as well as the future plan, the things that you're gonna do, things that you've been doing. So because Chelmney is very sincere, so you have to, it must be from what you've been doing, or it must be from what you're doing and what you plan to do. So you have to look out for uh, information and guidelines from the Chelmney website. It's very important because a lot of people do, you go to um, Chelmney and just think, no, 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 Chelmney has a guideline. It has things you have to do. It has things you're not supposed to include, just like any other scholarship. So you have to um, reliable churning applic. There, there are some social media that you have all over Twitter, Instagram. You just have to sign up for those um, social medias so that you'll be able to get necessary updates. And um, you will, it will come a point where you will write the essays that I keep saying that the, the first stage um, in applying, getting a successful application. Uh, so also you have to apply for universities, they're choosing um, schools on time. A lot of people apply for Chelvening first um, before, maybe after waiting, after getting Chelvening or being invited or long visited or whatever before they go ahead and apply for the schools. No, you have to do it if possible, like I did, yeah, I did everything simultaneously. So you have to choose your um, no, you search it in Germany website, you have to see the, the schools with the courses you have to apply and then you have to fill the form. And so you have to fill the form. And so now after filling the online form, in the process of going to the online application and there comes a point where that's the beginning of Germany. That's how to write Chevney essays. So I'm gonna start with Dr. Christian. He's gonna put us through the first essay, um, which you have to write in, in the application process, of course. You have to fill the form, then it will take you to a process where you have to write the essays. Um, we are gonna strike the main points now. Leadership essay. Now these essays are the main thing that differentiates the boys from the men, the girls from the women, from the ladies in Chevening application. So these are the essays that um, determines that. So I'm gonna put it through the leadership essay. Now, it's important to know that um, your essays is gonna be 500 words. So you'll be told to write um, an essay of your leadership and influential stories, which, um, okay, so, here, the first point is that you state experiences of 
Your leadership and your influence has helped to impact lives with very clear examples. You can give between two to four examples within the story. It should be about 500 words. So you divide them into, um, into paragraphs. So it's very important that you make use the STAR approach. The STAR approach is situation, task, action, and results. And this means that situation, situation means what is the problem? What's the problem here? Why are people, um, um, what's, the, what's the thing to be done? So you first have to identify the problem in this community or in this, in this environment. Secondly, task, what should be done? What is the task to be done? And how you are able to influence other people around you so for them to see the reason why we should do that thing as a leader. Then the third point is the action. What were you able to do? So first, it's, first is what should be done. Secondly is what do you want to do? Action, the third one action is what did you do? So how were you able to engage people into doing into actions that, um, that solve the problem? Then results. You have to write under sentence or about the results. What did it create? Now in Chevney's um, essays, don't go about writing long, long stories. Just give them the main points. One sentence, situation. One sentence, the task. One sentence, the action. One sentence, the result, and how it helped lives. How it helped impact um, um, and change the situation, and how um, it's going to help on a long-term impact too. It's so important that you don't use, um, you, you better use personal pronouns like I, because you are the leader. And you are proving to Chevney that you are really a leader. So you say, I did this. I led them. I influenced. I changed. I motivated. I went. I, you don't say, we, we did this. You don't, say, you don't put a collective term. There, say we did this. That means there's no responsibility of leadership in you. So you say, I did this. I did so it's very important. Thirdly, it's important to talk about focus on your influence. How are you able to influence others to do this? Focus on your influence and your actions and the long-term impact of your results. It's also important that you you be able to get basic leadership skills. Probably uh, talk about all the leadership skills you know, don't just define the skills, but be able to see how you're able to apply the skills. Use, be, be, make sure you use those terms. I, I influenced them to do this. I organized this. I motivated this. So use those in leadership skills to make up your essays. And you want to give past examples, give examples of your past um, leadership experiences. But it's important to focus more on the recent things you do, you've done, and the current things that you're doing now. So you don't you don't spend three paragraphs telling us about what happened in your primary school or secondary school or your university. You can just use one paragraph tell us what happened in your, in your secondary school, how you were a leader in your secondary school, so they know you're a born leader, you know. Or you or, or, or you, you 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 spend one paragraph telling us about generally what happened in the university, but focus majorly on what you're doing now and what you just did in the um, recent past. Okay, so don't waste words defining leadership, but explain how you're able to apply these leadership skills to your present work. And make sure you tell about your post-study plans. And it's also important that your last paragraph be able to write how your leadership exploit so far has helped um, in a way, has helped not just the community, but it has helped uh, towards something Chevron is interested on or has helped improve the relationship between Nigeria and the UK or has helped Nigeria work towards achieving the SDGs or has helped just write the long-term impact of your project. So it's very important you, you, that you conclude your essays with that. So with this, um, we'd like to tell us more about the networking essay, uh, how we can put that together. Okay. All right, thank you, Dr. Christian. Okay, so um, another essay you we you need to write, which we all wrote, uh, is networking essay. So now, just as Dr. Christian says, um, Kevin, they're looking for um, leaders. You know, we have a, a similar question, which is always um, repeated per se. It's always the same question because 
Chavni, they are looking for, you since the question, they will say Chavni is looking for um, leaders who will use their um, networking influence and how, tell us how you'll be able to, you've been networking and how you'll be able to, um, okay, these are most of the questions come. Chavni is looking for individuals with strong professional relationship building skills who will engage with um, Chavni community and influence others in their areas of choosing profession. So tell us um, how you, so they tell us, they ask you to tell them how you fit into this. So you have to explain how you build your professional relationship and how you plan to use the skills in the future. So a lot of people um, spend first second and third or one or two paragraph trying to tell um Chelney about what networking networking is defined as trying to give um define what networking is no they already know what networking is now they're asking you to tell them how you fit into this so you go ahead and tell how do you build your networking and have, how do you plan to use this networking um how is it going to help you in your future so you also give good example of your local, your global and networking, how you, this has helped you, how this networking has helped you, you understand, to impact you. And then what do you mean there, how to give good example, you say a good example in your country, in your community, it might not be international networking, but where you are currently, what have you been able to, how have you been able to network? Um, how is that skills? Networking is a skill. How is it going to help you um, in your profession? How is it going to help you to add impact to others? That's what they're looking for. So you also give your voluntary work with national and international organization and the result. Now you give clear example. Okay, for instance, um, in my university, um, my undergrad, I was, I was something, I lead in organization and I, we had first a challenge, there was a challenge day and I met people who, who were there before me, that's networking and what was the outcome of that, that's what they're looking for, so you have to put that, I use this, I network i met so 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 people and true that i was able to come out with a clear result they're looking for a clear picture a clear result an outcome so the national and foreign events you have attended the your personality how you met how you network how that help you so um events here could be conference it could be um it could be seminar and it could be workshop i'm sure you don't just walk into any um workshop or any workshop or conference and then the, that's the end of it no how has this been able to help your personality okay okay so you don't just talk about um creating or joining an organization or um social media but you have to give details about how this benefited you you understand so you don't you, for instance, you can't just tell me what you're not looking for you don't just tell them okay i'm an electrical engineer i'm a member of nigerian society of engineers and what how is that going to help you in your profession in the future and how is that going to help Add impact to your community, your country. So that's what they're looking for in um, networking essay. Okay, okay, thank you, Udrak. We're looking first at um, how you choose your university and your course. Okay, so first of all, you discuss your selected courses and give evidence why you chose them. Now, it's good for us to know that Chevron is not just interested in probably um, your academic, probably because you did a BSc in, a, in a, let's say, was it a BSc in, um, in, in, in medicine, in medicine, then your master's must be public health. And because you did a, B, did a, BHD, a BSc in, in biochemistry, your master's must be a metabolic biochemistry. No, Chairman is interested in what are you doing now? What is your interest? Are you, you may be, you may have studied biochemistry, but for now, but you base um, um, your, 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 probably your teaching, I want to go further into the secondary school teaching profession. 
and you want to study probably um, an educational course, or probably you studied um, like my friend who I school with in, in Birmingham, a Nigerian scholar, he did surveying with me in the University of Nigeria, but he works as he works with NGOs now. He doesn't do surveying profession again, he works with NGOs and has worked with them for like two to three years. I applied for Chevy to study international development and he was offered a scholarship and now he's in the University of Birmingham studying international development. So it's more like a change of profession totally. So, so what you are going to study must be related to either your first degree or your second degree, your, your previous degree or your profession. What are you doing now? What you're doing now? You want to study something that's related to it. So it selects your courses. And it's important to do lots of researches because most of us in, in some countries don't know that there, there are millions, there are thousands of beautiful courses you can study in the UK. Most of us think it's just restricted. Now, it's good to take your time to go through your schools, to search through schools, search through your courses and get the best courses that fit your dream and the best schools that fit into those courses. Now, it's good to make sure that the courses you chose for your first one and third choices are related and you explain how these courses will help to build your career, your, your post-study plan. It's also important that you study the discourse of selected school and your course according to your choices and to state why they are special. Now, different schools have different things that are special. With, for example, the University of Manchester, as Udwa told you, she studies power engineering, power systems engineering. And the University of Manchester is the only university in the UK that does power systems engineering. So in her essay, she must have written that uh, she chose the University of Manchester because it's the only school that does power system engineering. I study health economics and health policy in sort of Birmingham. And then the whole of UK, Birmingham is one of the, I think, three or two universities that do that does um, that does health economics and policy for, for doctors. And so it was easy for me to prove to them. And the fact that you may tell, okay, Manchester is, I think, the sixth school in the UK, number six in the UK, she had to tell um, them in the essay that Manchester, Manchester is one of the best school, it's 20th school in the whole world, and I actually chose the school. My school is 13th in the UK, and I told them about my school. So you can browse about some things, some things are special about your school. I'll talk about them in your essays too. Okay, it's also important that you add a note about why you chose to study in the UK. Now, um, to add to that, as I said before, it's important to tell why your course is important in your country, why your course is important in your career. You know, I'm a, um, I'm a doctor and uh, I study health economics. I was able to tell them that health economics is going to help us achieve universal health coverage in Nigeria, help us to manage health resources to achieve universal coverage. And so it's, it helped boost my essay. Um, Uduak studied power engineering and she's from Nigeria and power uh, power is not stable in Nigeria. So she's, she's able to defend her. I guess that's one of the things yeah, we talked about, Uzo, right? Yeah, yeah I, I, I recall that one of the things I said, which is still in me, um, was that, okay, so in Nigeria, we have, like, we have, we're talking about why you're choosing your school because um, Chavni wants to see um, the reason why you pick that school. Why not um, any other school? Why not any other course? So one of the things I told um, Chavlin in my essay was that, okay, we have power issues, which we all know. Um, in, if you're from Nigeria, you know that we have power issues. And one of the things we don't have in power sectors is um, fault management, fault analysis, um, how to limit certain faults. And that has been a major problem. So I choose electrical power systems, um, engineering, protection and conservation energy management, which University of Manchester happens to be the only school in the university. So I choose that because at the end of the course, I will gain the knowledge which will help me when I go back to Nigeria, I'll be able to solve a certain percent of problems. So I told them that, and I'm sure you have to. So explaining that in your um, university while choosing the university and why you choose the course is very important in your um, study essay. So you Thank can... you very much. It's also important to know that um, Chevney Masters offers you diverse courses. I mean, you may want to do a master's in photography, you want to do a master's in journalism. I mean, you don't say because you studied 
some particular courses in Nigeria or in your country's university that they are not very important, that you can't really find a good master's. You can, can pick a master's in across any field. So far, it's going to impact our future. Chevney wants that. Okay, to conclude, it's good to know you write just a little sentence about um, why you chose to study in the UK, probably because the UK has world-class schools. The UK is multicultural. People from different countries come there, multinational, multilingual. It's good to note that also. And you may want to talk about some extracurricular activity you may do there in the UK. That's for your interview. Just say some things you may want to do in the UK too. And it's also important I mean, um, Chevening sent a note recently about mistakes people make in essays. And one of the things that they don't just copy and paste words about courses from your school, just do copy and paste from the website, your school's website, or you give details why you want uh, to go with this school and this course. Okay, so that will tell us more about, about, um, about career, about our career essay and how to set them. All right, um, thank you very much. Uh, the next essay Hello. is career essay. So um, Chevney always asks, Chevney is looking for individuals who have a clear post-study career. And if you look at how um, Chevney, the, the question, the essays, um, the question comes, is just like a clear. So they try to be, they specify, they try to be specific about it. They're looking for a clear post career um, study career plan. So they immediately after your your program, what you're gonna do, um, what you do in, we call it um long term, short term, middle term. So you have to set smart goals. Like you have to plan about it. You have to um, set smart goals. Um, how to achieve it on like when you return after at the end of your program. And you have to um, divide them into a middle, um, short term, and long term goal. So a lot of people say, yes, it's good to um, dream big, think big. Of course, I'm going to be a minister of power in my country, but it's good to think big. But you don't just like after my school, after career plan, because they're asking for post career plan. You just say, okay, after my MSc, I'm going to be a minister. After my MSc, I'm going to be the president. It's good to think the, of course, Chevney encourages us to do that. But you have to break it in, in terms of middle um, goals, short um, term goals, um, long term, like what will you do? I remember I said um, in my career essay, um, I, I told um, Chevney that, um, while in the UK, I'm going to partner with my, because it happens that 70% um, of my organization, my professional organization happens to be in the UK, and that's 70%, well, 20% in the US and the remaining all over the world. So I told them that in my career, I'm going to partner with all this organization to make sure um, I'm, I bring about a change in, in my country, Nigerian power sector. And so that's that was like my second paragraph and i'm doing that i'm doing that here in the uk so that's career and i also said that in two years on my return to nigeria i'm going to do so i will do this so it's it means that i'm specific about it a clear career goal so you'll be able to show in the middle term in the short term middle term and long term i also said in five years time so it's very important Important that you 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 try and understand this. You don't just say, okay, after my post career, I'm gonna do just like set it. So you try and be clear about it. You give a clear and a strong rationale behind um behind this your career for and you don't be don't be afraid to dream big, like I said. Of course, I'm gonna be a minister of power, yeah. federal republic of Nigeria. I remember I told them I'm going to be WHO director general, okay, and I'm so, very sure about it as my long-term goal. Yes, yeah, so this thing you don't do not be afraid to dream big, but in your career essay, for the purpose of getting it done properly, you need to set it in short, long, and middle term. And if you wish to do a PhD, you have to said this, um, you don't just say, after my MSc, I'm going to do a PhD. So you have to say how this in a long term goal and how this is going to support your research. And also say how um, this scholarship is going to foster your career plan. Okay, like, um, I know that in Nigeria, we don't have my program. And in most countries, we don't have an UK. And even in the UK, only one school that has it. So you have to state this and that a good 
quality education in the UK is going to help you. So you have to say how it's going to help us. Like I've never been uh, since here. I've been to different countries from the UK to do research and a lot of things. That's because through the scholarship, so a lot of career opportunity. You have to state that. More reason I stated um, that you have to start your application on time and you have to do a lot of research because you have to know this thing ahead of time and you must include them in your career and how will you how will your plan strengthen the relationship between your country and the uk so i stated in my i remember my career essay i stated it um clearly that and thank god the day i had um my interview that was the day the uk government signed um about a billion naira to the nigerian government um for power sector. So, but the important thing is that you have to know the relationship between your country and the UK. So you have to include this in your career. How is this going to strengthen um, your, the relationship of the UK and your country? So it's very important that you summarize this in your essay. And when you say this, nobody, no um, official going you know, to go through your essays with this fact that will not, uh, this one is already choosing. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Udwak. You really had a very powerful career essay. Okay, um, um, in summary, it's important to know that your essay should not be written in one day, even one week. It should be, take you time. You should be able to do lots of researches. For your leadership essay, you should be able to um, um, read other essays. You should be able to look out and know how to state your, your... You must have done lots of things. You must have, you must have done lots of things. But if you don't write them well, you score less marks. So be able to be able to state those things you've done, and able to project those ones that will help you hit hard points. Obviously, in essays, in general essays, you don't lie because these things you say they are always going to be verified later. So you don't lie, you make your points. The, in your leadership essays, you strike those points using the star approach, as as as, as we discussed. Uh, and the, if they are high leadership roles you have you have taken that will hit you higher points. Make sure you state them. Don't go into details, so much, too many details, because these details we explain them during your interview later. And for your networking essays, as we said, it's important to be able to as, attend programs as you meet people, uh, be able to connect. Don't just meet people like that. Be able to see how you can connect them to the works you do. I want to write about them in your essay. How you're able to make local networks, national networks, and even international networks. It's also important in your, in your course essay, as you said, that you seek for courses that you have passion for and for schools that you want and be able to write the essays very well on your career too. So now we're going to uh, the main points. Now, when you are chosen for the interview, oh, you get scared, you say, oh, I've passed the first stage. How do I go for the interview now? But we well, have to give you tips that will help you as the uh, chair of the interview is to get it once and for all. And I'll be sharing with Udwak here. The first point for the interview tips is you revise your essays and you know their details very well because they, they, they're going to print out your essays. You have about five persons or six persons interviewing you and they all have copies of all your essays. And it's time for you to Prove those things you've written in your essays. So you revise them. You don't just cram them. Because you wrote them yourself, because they are true, you know them, I have the details in you. It's time for you to prove, to just keep talking about details of your essay. And uh, secondly, it's also important for you to practice mock interviews with likely questions. Do researches, ask questions, go browse, look for likely more questions. These are the questions they will keep asking every year. Yeah, yeah, the questions are almost similar. Yeah, they're almost similar, year. yes. Because I remember um, to practice the mock and interviews, like likely questions, for instance, mine, I, I practice, I remember, I still have the book here with me. So um, I practiced 25 questions. I and mean, when I went to the interview, 10 out of the 25 came. Wow, so wow, it, wow, it, that was smart. You see all these things on social media, the traveling, um, newsletter yeah. the questions are always the same because it's what you wrote in your essays is what you're going to defend you just yeah. like go prove to us how you're going to make this work 
So it's very important that you have to practice this interview. You practice it as many questions. If it happens, you practice it with someone or you practice it with yourself. I, someone like me, I practice with myself. So, but it's good you practice with people yeah. or if you, any, whatever works for you. But the most important thing is that you have to practice, have a, enough questions at hand to practice them. Thank you. So you, the interviews are usually in the British High Commission in, in Abuja, that's for Nigerians, in Abuja or in Lagos, and for some other countries, the High Commission in your country. Those, those that don't have High Commission will travel to another country that has a High Commission. Okay, so it's important to arrive at the venue on time and you'll be smartly dressed. But have to relax your mind because it's more like a discussion. It's not like it's, you are just going to discuss with them there. And uh, you express yourself boldly to be sure you're a leader. You have to prove to them you're a leader. You'll be bold enough to express what you've done. And uh, is you will primarily ask for essays. As I said, you don't lie because they very, very, they'll verify. And uh, it's good to say, you talk to them about other impactful words. Remember that your essay is just going to be 500 words. And many other beautiful things you wanted to know about, which you didn't say in your essay, which you didn't write in your essays. So the interview is a time to say them. For example, myself, I I um, I served when when I was a copper, I did lots of works as a copper, and I just wrote like only two out of 20 prayers I did in my NYSC. So during my interview, I had to add like two other things I, I did, which I didn't write in my essay to make up. And I expanded the one that I wrote already. It was so nice for and also I wrote a book during my um, during my service here, I went to the copy of my book and they took a note of it. So if there are other things you have done, other beautiful things that have impacted lives, can go to your interview with it and I'm mean, show them it's very important. And it's so good that you watch interview YouTube videos. Now, past callers have uh, produced lots of videos in the, from different countries all over the world. And uh, it's also important they go to YouTube and search for those videos. But for now, no, for now, relax first. Let's finish the essays. Uh, after, after the essay, when I called for an interview, you go and practice those ones. Okay, thank you. So um, it's important we, my Chevney journey, let's look at the, do you have anything to say about the tips? Uh, no, the tips are okay. The, the, the important thing is to do your application well, because um, once you're done with your application, get to a point of interview, Trust me, you will have, um, it's all about having confidence. It's all about being bold about what you write. It's all about looking back at your essays. So interview, it's all about your essays, preparing for, um, using your essays to prepare for it. So the important thing at the starting point, you know, don't forget, it's about getting a successful application. So it's about um, starting from uh, the application stage that your essays, you have to make that very rich. So if you scale to that point, interview is going to be um, a bit easier. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. So my Chevening journey, we we're looking at um, how the Chevening timeline goes. So, okay, from August, September, August to November, we hold applications. November to February, there's always sifting against the eligibility criteria. We they will use the criteria if you are not eligible, they will remove your, your application first. Then in February, they release a long list of those that between November and February, the um, committee, the reading committee will mark, they will read through all the essays, all the essays, they read through everything and they will mark them. And those that are selected will be will be long listed. And those are long listed. When you're once a long listed, you do require that you submit reference letters and transcripts. Reference letter is important that um, the person who writes the reference letter should write things that will um, present you as a leader and as one who has really done impactful things and deserving of the Chevron Scholarship. And these people are going to write their names in your application. So choose very well those that will write your reference letter to your application. Mm -hmm. So March and April basically are the interviews, and June the results is chosen. So the results comes out. Some persons will be chosen. Some persons will be at the waiting list, and those at the waiting list can later be chosen or later be sorry. <laughs> and some persons will be told sorry, we, uh, we you you did well, but probably next year 
you will apply again. And uh, in July, you will expect to present your unconditional offer and your IELTS result or your English result. July to September, there will be visa. Um, you will run around for your visa, do all the tests you're supposed to do. The chairman will do an orientation for you and organize for your departure. And September to October, you start up school as a chairman scholar. Okay. So here, can you see this picture, please? Okay. So this is the orientation for the Abuja cohort and the patch of for Abuja cohort. You can see the British High Commissioner there, the lady in the middle, deputies the other side, and other um, Chevney scholars. And you can see by the right side, the lady is there, which she's, she was actually busy working in her power plant, in her um, power distribution company. And uh, they told her, you've been chosen for Chevney. See how excited she is there with the, the, the logo. I can't keep calm, I'm chosen for Chevney. Yeah, that's good work there. And I'm the one there, Christian, where um, I'm receiving the award from um, the UK government to study in the UK. So we hope that very soon next year, by this time next year, all of you here will be chosen for Chevney and will be scholars and Chevnas for life. Thank you very much. So we are going to share our stories, our application stories briefly now before we end up. You have to us more about your application, your leadership essays, your networking, your career, just very briefly. All right. Thank you very much. In a few um, minutes, uh, I would just like to um, share my application, my traveling journey, my traveling story, because at this point, what is important is um, how to inspire you so that you know um, it's actually a, a journey um, which you need to take it very serious and it's worth the stress and everything. Okay, so this time, um, um, 2019, Okay, so when I heard first time when I heard about a friend told me about Chevney. Okay, so I was in a conference. So when he told me, um, I think you look like a leader. You look like what um Chevney looking for. So, so he he told me when he told me about Chevney scholarship, and I had to put a call I, through um senior like probably senior leaders. And I say, okay, what Chevney? I didn't actually check the website. Okay, so um, I asked what Chevney. So the first thing, the response I got was that Chevney is not for small body like you. <laughs> so I don't know. And I just smile. So, but what he meant was that um, it's a serious scholarship is in. So it, I don't know, he was just trying to scare me. But the important thing is that I said, okay, um, I like to, I studied engineering five years in the university. So I like to dare things. And um, so I went through the Chevney website. Shortly, I went to the Chevening website and I saw all the requirements. I saw, I said, cool. So, yeah, he's actually looking for someone like me. So, um, I have, <laughs> yeah, so I really have what it takes to, to go about Chevening. And then, um, Yes, um, something I have to bring in there was that it's good to prepare ahead, like in terms of um, I had my international passport, um, my transcript, I yes, before, so I had plans of that before. And so a lot of things were in place, like in terms of my international passport and few things. So I started the application. It was even in, in Abuja. So I started the application. It was a long journey because um, though I had what it takes, but it took me on my own case, it took me some time because I wrote more than 2,500 words because yeah, it's very important to do because I use what I did my secondary school, my university, very active. A lot of people knows me for that. Um, very active networking. Um, what again, leadership skills. Um, my career plan. So I go about it. I started the application. Chevney looking for two years um, working experience. So I had more than two years working experience even um, before my university and while in the university and at the process of after my university. So I did tell, I had a lot of experience. All these things is very important because it accounts for Chevney application. So um, it took me months, like from um, October, October, September, October, to 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 do the whole of these things, and then I I go about it. So 
I, I didn't find it difficult to go about my leadership and influential um, um, essay because it's something I've been doing. And what gives me joy is that Chelsea are looking for. So that alone gives me joy because they're looking for somebody with this quality. So it didn't take me, um, like, it didn't give me much stress to go about all these uh, essays in terms of networking. Um, I was telling Dr. Christian that recently before I came to the UK, I was calculating how much I've spent in terms of conferences, um, workshop, and seminars. It yeah. could actually okay. bought me a land, but I have all these receipts Hello. because do I do this thing because I was actually building my career, my profession. That's exactly what Chelsea me um, looking for. So I put through my essays and submitted. And sometimes February I got from come, you've been um, long listed, and I was so happy. And then I need to upload. That's just the application process. I uploaded my references. Another thing about reference is that if you are an engineer, for instance, me, they're asking for professional um, reference. You don't uh, apply as an engineer, then a medical doctor now give you a reference. It's very important. Okay, so that's when you need to um, get one from either your school and your profession. So uh, these things are very important. Important. Yeah, they check all those things. So um, another thing I did was I just uploaded our apply simultaneously um, in, in the three in the three um, UK um, university, which University of Manchester was number one. So when you are applying for your questions, it's very important that your three course is it that you choose um, three universities with similar course or you choose three courses from one university. Okay, so I choose University of Manchester, um, UCL, and um, University of Birmingham, but University of Manchester was my first choice and I'm grateful that I got that. Okay, so it was um, after the whole application was now interview and it was in my interview that was when I met um, <laughs> um, Dr. Christian. So we had um, the same interview, the same day, same time, and <laughs> the same interviewer. So the same person um, that yeah, in the same people. Lyle. Yes, Lyle, she's online. She's watching us. Yeah. Okay, so she interviewed us with three other persons. So the same um, um, piece, set of people that interviewed Dr. Christian was the same. So that was how we met. I remember. So. It's very important, like the point where I say you have to dream big is very important because I remember telling, that was the first time I met Dr. Christian. I said, oh, we're going to meet at the embassy, but we laughed over it. Why? Because we are the process of, uh, that's why you need to go to interview when it um, shortlisted for interview, you have to go early. So at the process of waiting for, we, we were there early and we started networking. You know, networking didn't just stop in um, <laughs> application. Yeah. So we were networking and I told him we're gonna meet at the embassy. So, but after we got the old thing and then you went for your visa application, they again, I met uh, yeah, <laughs> Dr. Yeah, Kingsley. Yeah. Okay, so but the thing is that when at the whole thing after Tuesday and everything, and here I am in the UK. So that's what Chelsea is about. On arriving in the UK, University of Manchester, it was it was a great reception because they see us like um Chelsea scholars. Um, we are representing, we are ambassadors, we are representing UK and we are representing our country. So they look at us like very uh, VIPs. Yeah, so yes, because we represent yeah. the two countries. So it's very important. Um, and they, Sorry, and it's also important that you're being a Chevron school and your school respects you a whole lot yeah. because my school, whatever, I went for an interview to be Part of the school board of trustees. Maybe like I said, I was a Chevney scholar that solved the whole problem. Everybody, whatever that person were just looking, oh, Chevney, you mean you're a Chevney scholar? You can? I said, yes. And I just got the, I, I, it made me to be a director to sit with the school board of trustees to decide what happens to about that 5,000 students in the University of Birmingham. 
and that's and I think yourself too. Yeah, absolutely. Being, well, being well, a, well, an ambassador, an for, ambassador the for the UK. Black African ambassadors yeah. here in the UK. So they're representing uh, the African head university. So anyway, being here in the UK, like a Chadwick scholar, is very important because even when I was applying for visa to other countries, it was like they needed my award letter. And once they saw that it's Chadwick, everything was just like government picking. That's how we call it in Nigeria. So it's very important important because I think that just in summary, being in the UK, my networking didn't stop because I wanted to get Chevrolet. It's continued. And here I've been like about four or five ambassadors because anything you apply in the UK or internship, anything you as a Chevrolet scholar, because the essence is that trying to network. They are grooming global international leaders who will go back to the countries and contribute positively to the development. So I've been, been here in the UK. It's been a great um, opportunity and I give it to Chevney. So this is just to encourage you while you're doing your Chevney application that you have to do your best. Do your best. Don't take it. Um, make it. Don't rush over it. But um, Take a look at it, do more research, look at it because it's not just a scholarship, but it is an opportunity. Thank you very much. We thank you very much, Udwa. Before we conclude, thank you very much. I would like to just point out briefly about my application. The majority of my story for my leadership and networking came from the works I did when I served as a youth copper. And it's all they were all products of networking. Now sorry, the products of volunteering. Chevening loves volunteers, UK loves volunteers, the world loves volunteers. Being able to um, to be, being able to go to work for something without being paid has meant a lot to them. Okay, as a copper, I, I, I was a doctor in the community in Bayelsa State and Shell came to do an outreach there and I volunteered to be a, to be a doctor to work for the child didn't pay me and I joined them for the work and at the end I was able to use Shell to say okay I volunteer with Shell to impact the lives of people in this community and that's made very big sense with them um, to Chevney. I, I, I immediately after my service here in 2017 I, I heard they were going to do polio vaccination immunization I had to meet I went to the WH office in Bayelsa State in you know, I, I told the, the director general please the director there, please, please, I would like to volunteer to join you in this polio immunization. I made me supervisor. I crossed the water out to different communities to, he really, they really didn't pay me. It was more like a volunteering work, but that name WHO, volunteering WHO to eradicate polio from Nigeria was a very strong point in my child application. And during the monkeypox, Wahala, I was able to volunteer with, I just I met, went to UNICEF office, told them I want to join people to do hand washing projects to avoid, uh, to help prevent monkeypox. I was also able to write in my networking that I was able to network with UNICEF to do hand washing projects in the, in the in monkeypox. And then UK had two cases of, mon of monkeypox virus, monkeypox um, um, cases that came from Nigeria. So it's a very strong point in my essay. Why am I saying this? Volunteer, don't just sit down doing nothing or sit down expecting to be paid. That story that follows what you've done is enough. It's more than the money you will get for the payment. Look for organizations who are working to impact lives. Volunteer, work with them. These organizations can help you network with bigger international and national organizations. And all this can make your Chevney story and project you onwards to becoming a global leader and all, all, all the way. So they made my essays uh, and also I worked with an NGO, um, other NGOs and uh, so such were part of my essays and then my um, interview I was able to explain most of them and that helped me uh, get the scholarship. So in conclusion, uh, we are saying that you here listening to us today can get German scholarship. I and I and um, I and Udwak, it was our first time, isn't it? Yes. So person that applied for five times, ten times, I get it was our first time to get it. And that's why we we're telling you this. It's all about volunteering, it's all about being a leader to solve problems. There are many problems in the world. Presently, they have this pandemic problem uh, um, pandemic in the world. What have you done um, to help avert this pandemic? What have you done to help 
in this um, 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 this global pandemic? What have you done? So it's it can also make up your story, no matter how small. So in conclusion, we are encouraging you to apply for Chevening, and we hope that to see you next year as Chevening scholars. We entertain questions, whatever questions it is. Thank oh, you. Okay, and before we hand over to Dr. Kalu to coordinate the question session, I'd just like to add a briefly that it's good that you have somebody to um, look at your, mm -hmm. read your, review your mm -hmm. essays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and join mm -hmm. social groups and social media. Uh, go send your essays to somebody um, a week to, and um, just speak, please, can you help me view, um, review my essays in two days? It doesn't work that way. I have to send it give the person time to to review your essays and that's where you have to try and start it on time and i wish you all the best in your application it's going to come up next month called us yeah. yeah um so uh, i wish you all the best in your yeah. application just do your best and the star will be your starting point thank yeah, you very thank much thank you very much